Ah, such a beautiful day to get things done today. I have so much planned. It's going to be... Who are you? We bring news from the future. What kind of news? Should I know about this? Yes. I come from a separate dimension. You will use shulker boxes in a new series. Tell me more. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to another series of Minecraft, and this time we're going to be doing Armored Survival. Um, this is not necessarily uh, cheating, this is a totally different series. Um, <clears throat> you know how most people do uh, survival series and they, they uh, kind of add their own twists to them? Well, this is kind of what I'm doing. In this uh, Minecraft episode, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding my own twist to... Um, a traditional survival series and instead what I'm going to be doing I decided to do this on screen I'm locking my game mode on hard so I can't change it and in this shulker box that I have right here is um, well it's a bunch of stuff and I'll let you see what's in it I decided to pack up this much food, this many arrows, bow, two stack of torches. Now I want you to realize I only gave myself two stacks because that starts out the night. From then on, once I run out, I have to make my own. And that's the same for all of these food items here. I even gave myself a gold apple because I know for a fact if you guys remember, in my other survival series, I die all the time. So, I need to <laughs> kind of give myself an edge. And, yeah, it's really important. So, you can kind of tell in this survival series that I'm kind of turning up the heat. I am uh, making the challenge a little bit harder on myself. And I even gave myself the first step necessities, but I will need to get wood soon. But uh, I'm not going to worry about that right now. Is there a way that I can... Uh, axe? No. Pickaxe? Yes. Okay. And this was kind of an easy storage. Uh, I'm going to use only the shulker box for all of my uh, weapons and tools and food. And then the rest of my inventory can be used for other stuff. Oh geez, already running into mobs, and I don't I don't know what happens if you have them on hard. I don't know if you die. Uh, uh, I don't know if you die faster, but uh, I really don't want to find out. And I hope they're not quicker. Ma, oh, wait a minute, what temple? Okay, um, so starting out, I'm seeing a temple, and that's. Always fun, but it's buried in the ground. Unless that's not a full temple, and it's picking on me. Oh, jeez. I've only got diamond armor. Uh, and I say only because I don't have any special things on my diamond armor. I don't have any... Um... Oof, jeez, I'm criminy Christmas. Uh, okay, I don't ha have any uh, enchantments on my diamond armor, and I'm really wanting to get some soon. Oh, man, I really should have gotten some food out, huh? All right. So, I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm safe here. I'm going to go in. Uh, I should probably get some things. Since this is buried in the ground, I don't need to worry about uh, stuff and things. Since this is buried in the ground, I won't have to worry about um, running out of this sandstone. I won't have to worry about keeping this sandstone above uh, the surface holding up the pyramid. And the sand perfectly preserved it, so that's kind of cool. 
I have 29. I'm hoping that's enough. And I'm going to get rid of this pressure plate because I know there's TNT underneath. I'm going to get all of that as well. TNT will be great to have in this series because that will allow me to, um, well, it'll allow me to do stuff that I couldn't normally do. I'm going to put the pressure plate in here. Uh, since TNT counts as a weapon, I'll put it in the shulker box. And I'll do that now. Besides, I need to light this up because I'm planning on coming back in case I can't make a shelter anytime soon. Uh, yeah, that works, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Lighting this interior up just in case I can't find a shelter. Um, do, 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 do. I don't know why I took out both of those. I'm going to get this set up here so that way this can be easy for me. Chest, furnace, crafting table. I probably should have given myself some coal, but that's fine. And uh, I think that works. I'm going to get out the building, uh, building blocks. Hopefully I run into coal down here. I haven't opened the chests yet. Uh, so far, bones. That's good. That means that Oh, they gave me sand, so I could have gotten out of here without having to mine the pyramid. But, uh, like I said, I didn't mind doing so because it wasn't going to topple down on me and I wasn't, like, I don't know. There wasn't stuff and things. So, why, what, why did I... Oh, it was bones. Okay. Um, there we go. I'm going to put the bone meal in here. I'm going to get the string there and... I'm really hoping to run into diamonds, but I doubt that'll happen, starting out. Uh, oh, this is the blue golden apple, so it's one of the cheaper ones, but that's fine. Do -do -do. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love the loots that I'm getting right now. Um, uh, yep, no diamonds. Crap. Oh well, that's fine. I'm going to have to change these to bone meal as well. And the bone meal will be put in my chest as well. I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to put that there. And all my elites and stuff. Everything that I want to save in here. I don't really care about bone meal. Saddles and stuff can be in my inventory too. Alright, so starting out, not bad. Not bad at all. And it looks like the day has come in, which, which is good. Oh yeah, I forgot you can't place blocks as well as you could if you have the shield on. But I'm going to need that shield. Really soon. And I'm going to put the orange hardened clay back where I found it, mostly. Where is the entrance that I took? Is it over here? Look at me, I'm already getting lost. Oh, nope. Over here? Nope. Uh, Don't ask me why I'm seeing it, because I have no freaking idea. Uh, maybe it's up the... Yeah, that's possible. You know, I could make sandstone stairs, but I just don't want to. Uh, oh. Uh, sure. And we'll make this kind of a way. way I can find it. A little bit easier. A good way to look for it is that they have these two pieces here. 
This one's buried by sand, but this will kind of give me an idea as to where I can find it. There we go. Buried Temple isn't really bad, you know. It's not a bad place to start out as our house. Not only that, but it'll give me uh, something to thumbnail this. Uh, well, uh, something to title this. You might be wondering why I'm taking a bite out of one of everything. Um, in the last survival series, I told you uh, the best way to uh, keep your hunger uh, pretty decently especially during hard mode is by taking a bite out of one of everything because it takes it as a meal rather than as a um, you know you're eating the same thing it gives your character flavor and the flavor adds to the amount of hunger that you have in hard mode though your hunger diminishes really quickly so you're gonna have to stay right on top of that which is why I started myself out with as much as I did. Um, this, I'm hoping, doesn't kill me <laughs> because I know in hard mode that once once you're like really, really hungry and you have no food at all, you have a certain amount of time to have to find food. So that being said, I'm going to take out my a steak and my pork chops because I know those two, well actually, no. I'll save my steak and I'll save my pork chops and just use chicken, no rabbit. And uh, that way I'll still have that on me whenever I absolutely need it. It seems like steak and pork chop are the two uh, main foods that everybody seems to want to use in hungry. Um, I'm not, I'm not hungry. Starving type situations. I'm going to put that there, and I'm going to eat this rabbit. Last wee rabbit. <laughs> oh, the god, that was dark. I realized I was eating Bugs Bunny. <laughs> uh, speaking of bunnies, I, I have enough food, I know, but I... You see, this is what, this is what hard mode is about. This is what survival in general is supposed to be about. You got to think, yes, you have the food, but you also got to think about when's the next situation that you're ever going to run into a rabbit? When's the next situation that you're ever going to run into a really, yeah, a really awesome food source that can really help you in the end, you know? And speaking of the end, I will definitely be going to it. Uh, was that a baby? Yes, it is. It's a baby, and I'm not going to worry about it. I'm only going to worry about the, the teens and fully grown rabbits. Uh, kind of deciding. Um, hopefully I haven't gotten too far away from the team, but I'm maybe deciding on building an awesome house. Maybe. The buried temple is a great start, and so is this kind of cave here. But I feel like wherever I go, it's not going to matter because I'm going to be inches away from death and that's not fun at all. Uh, what's this here? Is this a cave? Um, nothing looks like it's in here. That's good. Oh, coal. That'll help me. That'll help me tons. Alright. Uh, let me know down, down in the comments below, by the way, uh, what you think about this um, survival series. What you think about hardcore survival. Well, I mean, this isn't really necessarily hardcore, but it really amps up the idea of survival just in vanilla. Ooh, bunny. I need more food. I need more food. I said food. There we go. Uh, because the baby rabbits, they don't give me very much food. I'm not going to worry about them. I'm just going to worry about their parents. They can, the, baby, the baby rabbits can suffice on their own. Yeah. Man, they are so difficult to defeat, especially in hard mode. <laughs> or maybe it's just the fact that I have hard mode on that seems to make it so difficult. 
I just got a stick from a dead bush. I didn't know that could happen. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. I didn't know you could get sticks from dead bushes. That's amazing. <laughs> that's probably been in the something that has always happened in these updates and I just didn't know any, anything about it. Oh, that's a oh, well, I, feel, I feel really sad for doing that. I thought it was a fully grown. I shouldn't feel too sad about it though because I just recently said that it was that it was a baby and then I went and killed it anyway. So that's kind of my fault. But oh well. Now that I know that dead bushes can give sticks, I guess that's, I don't know, that's something different I never thought about. It is really awesome though that they added that, and maybe later on in these uh, Minecraft updates they can change it to where whenever you uh, chop or mine um, leaves on trees that they also give you uh, sticks and twigs. Because they do give you saplings to grow trees, which is cool. Maybe not take that away. Maybe um, actually amp up the amount of saplings that you get in leaves. But um, also have it to where you can get twigs and stuff from that too. Because that's kind of something that I've always wanted. Because like having to break down our planks into sticks, that, that is a creative way, I guess, of getting uh, the materials. But... I don't necessarily think it's the best idea. It's it's something that's been around, so don't get me wrong. I really absolutely love it. But I just wish that maybe we had a better way of getting different source materials, such as, you know, the dead bushes giving us sticks, and, uh, the leaves giving us saplings. Maybe amp that up a little bit. All right, so I found the temple again, which is good, because I don't want to lose that. And it's starting to get dark, and I was hoping to find sheep, but that's probably not going to happen. This is episode one, and usually in episode one, you can't find sheep, which sucks. <laughs> All right, so going back into the temple. Oh, jeez, I'm criminy Christmas. I really should have lit this place up. Oh, by the way, yes, I, I still have Optifine. Uh, one of the main, one of the main things that I use to. Uh, uh, record these videos because oh no nope nope eh, nope sorry if it sounds like I'm dying guys I, I really oh no oh no guys oh guys 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 Oh, you stupid skeleton. You stupid skeleton. You stupid skeleton. Jeez, I'm crazy. Christmas crackers. At least you didn't blow up everything. And I can fix this. Which is good. This is not even how this was supposed to go. Sir. Definitely lighting this place up more than it was before I left. I can't deal with creepers. Creepers are not allowed at all. At all. And it's a good way it's a good thing that I have a, a doorway here because that yeah, that'll help. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Yeah, I really hate creepers because they're Freaking stupid, you know. Uh, let me make another door away from myself. This way, I have an escape route. Just in case something were to happen. I don't like to think negatively, but I did almost die. And you see, that's another reason why I amped up the amount of freaking uh, armor that I started out with. Because if I had started out with iron, I probably would have sufficed. But I just don't understand like why I give myself these challenges. Because I know for a fact that if I die in regular mode, how am I going to keep myself from dying in 
hardcore mode, you see? It's just a, it's something that I'm... Something that I never really understood. Uh, I was thinking about doing a modded survival series, but then I was just like, yeah, I don't know how my uh, viewers will take that, because I don't know if they're... Um, if they're vanilla lovers or if they're mod lovers, I, I don't really hear much feedback from you guys. And while that's fine, I really would like to hear what you want to see next because it gives me an idea of what I can uh, start scheduling to record. And it gives me an idea of what I want to record uh, as far as these videos go. So definitely comment down below what you want to see next, because I promise that I will get it done. I know lately I've been saying that I might just get it done, but I seriously am open for different suggestions. So if you have any, then please, you know, plug away. Tell me. <laughs> because I'm definitely willing and able to uh, try different things. Uh, da -da -da -da. Where's the... There it is. Okay. I'm going to put these at the doorways. And then, uh, yeah, that, that way I feel a little bit more safer. A little bit. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, yeah, he blew up the top as well. That's why I have so much stuff. Okay. Uh, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well. Don't have any time at all to worry about where things go. Not, well, okay, fine. Let me just re-enhance the um, build then. It's all uneven, but whatever. should have been worried about that. I'm going to save my pickaxe from the damage that I might get by mining the sand and mine the sand with my hand because I am not going to risk losing my diamond pick over some stupid granular block. <laughs> it's like using your pickaxe for dirt. It literally falls underneath the same category. Just saying. Just, just saying. For those of you who don't think it does, it really does. It really does. Alright, so... <clears throat> ah! Not sure what that was about, but... Uh, yeah. Uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna pile up the inside of this thing with sand. And these corners. 
sand. And we'll have a sand pillar. This way it makes my temple my own. I guess this works. All right, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching as the day rolls back in. Um, really, I really appreciate the views that I get. Um, I really appreciate all 11 of you subscribers. Hopefully, uh, we'll get more soon. Tell um, tell your friends that I exist. <laughs> and uh, if they are all a favorite of Minecraft Let's Plays and hardcore mode Let's Plays, then definitely recommend this to them because... Uh, I plan on amping up the heat a little bit more soon. Um, yeah, not gonna give any uh, any details on that, but yeah, you'll see. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.